Hi, this is Andrea, Senior Policy Counsel at the Center for Victims of Torture. Uh, once more, uh, <laughs> talking from El Paso. This is my third day, was my third day. Um, and today we went to El Paso Processing Center. And one of the aspects that really stood out for me today is that different inmates wear different colors um, of the jumpsuits. And when I asked one of the guards, he told me that uh, the different colors stand up for the different levels of the violation of the law. Um, and for example, when I saw an inmate, sorry, I keep using inmate because it's really so much like a prison. Um, when I saw a detainee that, that um, had a red jumpsuit, he had committed at some point a felony here in the United States. And uh, the only reason why I can guess he was not just deported and was detained is because he seemed to have a pretty strong claim under the Convention Against Torture, uh, which means that he can't really be returned um, if it's really likely that he will be tortured in his home country. Then um, I saw another uh, detainee. Well, a lot, most of the detainees that I've seen from the Northern Triangle actually have, um, have had orange jumpsuits. Um, my guess for that is maybe it's because they're charging them uh, for crossing between ports of entry um, because they, they actually did cross between ports of entry. Um, and the one person that I saw in a blue jumpsuit uh, was a person who came through a point of entry. So he crossed the, the bridge in between Ciudad Juarez and El Paso and then he presented himself um, and then he was allowed in. And actually, this man um, is a, had a, a strong case uh, because he's a gay man from the Northern Triangle. And it was really heartbreaking to hear how, um, I mean, how he was even feeling while detained because he was surrounded by people who look like those who have been discriminating him his entire life. Um, and actually, another attorney and myself were with him uh, doing his uh, preparation for the credible fear interview. And, and I mean, he, since he seemed really um, desperate, uh, we, well, the other attorney uh, went out of her way to find uh, an organization in El Paso who help specifically LGBTQ individuals. So tomorrow uh, we're going to go back in with, with one of them uh, to see if, how we can further assist him. Um, but yeah, so if um, I'll, I'll keep updating on probably specifically this story and uh, more. Thank you.